Hey friends. Uh, people said on Instagram that they wanted to know my personal gym rules and gym etiquette. So I figured I'd jot down 10 of the top gym rule and etiquette things that my brain came up with and share them with you here. If you don't already know me, my name is Gia. I'm the creator of Dote Well. Crave worthy protein treats like cinnamon rolls, mm, bread, oh, brownies, yum. And I just love to eat, laugh, and lift. Welcome. <laughs> Um, so during this video, guys, I've just jotted down the top 10 things that I think are important to think about when you're at the gym, especially if you're going to the gym for the first time or, you know, not so familiar with how do you be respectful of everybody else while you're trying to make sure to get your gains on. Um, so I'm just going to go through them and there's really no particular order of how I'm going to go through them, but I've written them down and I'm going to explain them to you. So one of the things is wipe down your sweat and your spills, right? So if you spill water or if you leave sweat on a chair, wipe it down. A lot of times gyms will have paper towels and antibacterial or sprays. Use them. Go out of your way to walk the 10 feet to go get them. Wipe it down. It's a form of cardio anyway, walking over there to get the towels. So wipe down your stuff. And if you feel like you're actually going to sweat a lot, this is number two, bring a towel. Sometimes gyms have um, towel service, but if they don't, bring a towel and put it on your chair if you're going to lean back on something. Um, put it on the bench if you're going to lay down on something so that you aren't just constantly dripping all over the place. It's okay for you to sweat, but it's just a way to, keep the, be, to be mindful um, that you're going to sweat. Number three that I have listed here is sometimes uh, people will come to you and ask to work in with you. And what that means is um, gyms are limited to the amount of equipment they have, right? So for example, if you're using a chest press machine uh, and somebody is kind of slammed for time, but they need, want to use that machine too, working in with you means that during your rest period, they would like to have their workout set. Uh, and then when they're resting, then you work out. Um, if you're not on your last set, uh, let them work in with you. Um, it's a shared space after all. If there are multiple machines doing the, the, exact, the exact same machine somewhere else, you may point them, hey, there's another machine there, do you mind using that one? Um, but working in with you is not necessarily somebody trying to hit on you, it's just somebody trying to get their gains on. <laughs> okay. Number four on my list. <laughs> if you can't unrack weights and you can't re-rack the weights, you probably shouldn't use the weights. <laughs> Easy peasy, right? If you think you wanna use a 100 pound dumbbell but you can't actually get it off the rack, don't use it. There's no shame in going in lighter weight because if you can't get off the rack, you weren't gonna lift it properly anyway and you were probably going to injure yourself or just do an exercise that wasn't going to do anything effective. Number five, put your weights back. <laughs> Whether it's dumbbells, it's plates, um, put them back. If you're on a leg press machine and you put the weights on there and you've got three plates, five plates on there, take them off. Because not everybody can lift that same amount of weight, right? If you've got a dumbbell that you've used and you got it from, you know, so the dumbbell racks have stickers on them usually that say, 10 pounds goes here, 15 pounds goes here, 70 pounds goes here. Even if you got them in the wrong place, do your best to get it back into the same position. Just because it was misplaced somewhere else doesn't mean we need to contribute to it being misplaced because we all know what it feels like when you can't find a dumbbell that you want. So help the world. Number six, don't hog space equipment if you're not using it. <laughs> so one of the things that I find a lot of people doing is I'm going to give you a couple of examples. There's normally a dumbbell rack in the gym, right? So if you walk into the gym, there's like stacks or rows of dumbbells. Do, 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 do. If you are uh, going to do, let's say, for example, bicep curls, don't do it right in front of the whack, whack the rack. Uh, don't do it like half a foot in front of the rack, the dumbbell rack. Step back three feet or so so that people can get through and still access the dumbbells right in front of you, right? I know we want to look at our physiques while we're getting our pump on, but um, other people want to get their pump on too, and we might be in their way. 
Um, the other thing that I see people doing is maybe they're, they're using a bench, but for five minutes, they're just on their phone or they're just sitting there having a conversation, right? If you're doing that and uh, I want to use that machine and I want a time crunch, I'm gonna ask you if I can use the equipment, right? So just try to be mindful of where you're having your phone conversations or where you're doing your Instagramming, right? Are you taking up potentially somebody else's uh, space so that they actually can get their workout in? Now it's okay for you to do those things, especially if the gym is empty, but just be really mindful of who you might be impacting or who you might be getting in the way of. Um, sometimes it's as easy of if you were sitting on a bench and you started Instagramming, but you're actually done with the bench, just stand up, step a few feet away, and do your Instagramming there by a pole where you're not getting uh, in the way of anybody else. Like, look at me, selfie, 50 pounds. <laughs> okay, um, number seven, don't make fun of people. I know that sometimes there are folks that are doing exercises that may look unconventional, potentially unsafe, potentially a little chuckle inside of you, um, but don't outwardly make fun of them uh, because they're at the gym trying to do their best, right? Or trying to do what they know. Now, if you think that they're gonna actually injure themselves or it's unsafe, flag down a employee at the gym and just let them know, hey, I think this person might injure themselves with the exercise they're doing or think they're being dangerous for the other people around them. But I, I once saw this instance of like, I got so fumed guys, got so fumed. Um, there was this older lady, she must have been in her 70s or 80s and she was just um, by the dumbbell rack. I don't remember what exercise she was doing and there, there were these guys and you know, those, ha oh, look at me, I'm at the gym and just laughing so loud because you wanted attention, right? And then he, in another language, I can't remember what it was, and then he was taking like selfies and videos and he purposely had her in the shot and said in whatever language, like grandma over there. Um, and he, they didn't know each other, they definitely didn't. And so I was so fumed, but she walked away because she was so uncomfortable. So I went over that to the area, she goes to me, and she's like, that made me, she, She's like, I didn't like that. Like she knew that it was about her and it's just not fun. Like, heck dude, she's just going to the gym. She wants to be healthy, let her be healthy. And you don't need to be a douche about it, right? So after she left, I actually went over to the guy and I said, I told him, I was like, that was really inappropriate. I don't think you should have done that. Um, and, I, and then, um, yeah, and he's actually, <laughs> came down quite a bit, I think, since that conversation. So no more loud screaming in the gym of, hey, look at me, look at me. <laughs> um, and no more selfies or selfies with people in them. And by the way, the other thing is, if you are taking selfies, that's totally fine. Enjoy your physique, take selfies. Uh, try your best to not get other people in the shot. I know sometimes it's not the easiest, but try. Um, not everybody wants to be in social posts or in photos in general. Number eight, if you don't know how to use a machine or a piece of equipment or you don't know what to do with something, there's usually stickers on the machine. Even as for as long as I've been lifting, there's always gonna be a new machine that comes out or a different variation, right? And I don't always know how to use them. Uh, so I always take a moment to just look at the stickers on the machine and go, what am I supposed to do here? Look at all the clamps before you actually start using it, right? And then always start with a lighter weight to see like, how is this really like, how am I actually feeling this in my muscle? Um, so take the time to read those instructions or, or ask somebody, right? Ask somebody that you think uh, knows how to use it. Ask a member at the gym or um, an employee at the gym, a trainer, um, cause somebody's always gonna be happy to help you. Uh, number nine, cardio. If you're on the cardio machine, you're having a phone conversation, it's totally fine to have a con phone conversation. But I try to, if I have to have a conversation, I personally keep it really brief um, and make sure that I'm not using a volume that is too loud, that somebody that's trying to be in their zone has their um, earbuds blasted, but they can still hear me, right? Because um, I just wanna be mindful. If somebody wants to have their space, their zen mode, but they hear me go <laughs> in the background. <laughs> I don't think I'm part of their Zen mode. 
or am I? <laughs> I need some food today. <laughs> I'm a little kooky. And number 10, um, one of the things that I really, I actually like that I left this one last unintentionally, but number 10 is if somebody is mid-set, meaning somebody's actually doing their workout, like actively lifting or pushing, you know, don't talk to them. Okay. Not because they're mean, but because you want them as much as they should be focusing on their form. And okay, so maybe they're hogging space in front of a machine that you wanted to use because they're doing their whatever, right? Wait until they're done with their set and then talk to them. Um, it's a safety thing, right? That we don't want to talk to people. What the, why, why I don't think we should be talking to people mid-set because especially when you're lifting heavy, there's just so much going on in your head. In my head, for example, I'm thinking about Am I feeling it in my muscle? Is my form correct? Am I breathing correctly? How is my stance? Am I compensating? Those are all the things going in my head. And if somebody tries to distract me, I might forget, am I breathing correctly? And I may stop breathing and ruin my form momentarily and I might get injured. So if somebody starts talking to me, I actually like zone out and just keep focusing on my exercise. And if they wanna keep talking to me, wave their hand in front of me, which people have done, ignore them <laughs> um anyways guys that's it for my 10 tips and etiquette rules thing for the gym i hope you liked it if this kind of stuff if these kind of videos are helpful for you guys hit that like button let me know it helps me out in knowing like what kind of content i should make for you guys and i typically post questions anyways in instagram asking what videos you guys want to see and that's what i create um but if you want to see more content from this mug, <laughs> hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell right next to it. <laughs> right next to it. Ding, 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 ding. Every time this baby gorilla posts a video. Uh, and if you guys haven't already checked out Dote Well, you should because we create crave worthy protein treats. <laughs> All right, guys. If you have any questions, put it there. DM me on Instagram, you know. Mm -hmm. Bye guys, have a great day. See you. <laughs>